What did you do to reignite your relationship with your partner, but instead ruined it? I arranged a dinner with her family. Holy shit, did they do an amazing job ruining the relationship. I wrote marry me in flames on her front lawn, but then the wind picked up and oh god, it was horrible, just horrible. Went to couples therapy and let her pick a therapist she had already been seeing. Quickly learned that it was more of a I told you so to her therapist, who in hindsight was very biased and dishonest, therapist. What's the wildest conspiracy theory you've heard that someone actually believes? Kleenex company adds dust to your tissue so that you breathe it in and have to sneeze again. The whole ass moon is fake. It's a government projection used to explain women's periods and how the government really controls uteruses. I stopped talking to that girl real quick. Recently heard one that said that hurricanes are specifically targeting Florida because Florida gets hit with so many hurricanes. Make it make sense. How can you tell you're entering the deep south in the US? Waffle houses start being at every exit. A sign that says hot boiled peanuts. Drove down to Georgia to visit my sister, we stopped on the way and I saw a sign in a window that said, Fried Bologna is back. I figured that was a pretty good metric. What's a kid's movie that is worth watching as an adult? The Iron Giant. Mulan, 98 version, Tarzan, Emperor's New Groove, Hook, Willy Wonka, 1971, Matilda. I've watched all many times as an adult and they still hold up. What did you love doing as a child that you don't do anymore? Knocking on my friends' doors and saying, can you come out and play? And they just come out and off we go, riding bikes or just playing in the creek. Climbing trees. Now I'm terrified of breaking, more, bones. Making drawings. Wow, you're really brave to wear that. I wish I was as confident as you. You're surprisingly smart for someone like you. When said to any minority, you're one of the good ones. I usually don't date fat women, but you're actually pretty so smart so clever and fun. Pick one. I've heard all three and none are true compliments. What is your I'm getting older sign? When you fall over and people laugh, then you're young. If you fall over and people panic, then you're getting old. You can injure yourself by sneezing or sleeping wrong. Making sounds when I stand up. When your childhood punishments become your adult goals, eat vegetables, having a nap, stay at home, sleep early. What's the one piece of advice you wish you had received at 20 that would have made your life easier? Being smart does not mean you'll thrive in scientific learning and work. Play to your strengths, not your expectations. 90% of the people in your life are temporary, so do what makes you happy and makes your life better. Don't worry so much what others may think about you. What's your favorite euphemism for boobs? My breast friends. Knockers. It's honest and bold. Calcium cannons. Dobin honkeros. What is the one thing you can't sleep without? The fan on. I need to be under the covers or a blanket in some sort of way if I am laying down no matter how hot it is. I need something to cuddle to fall asleep. The TV on volume 2 specifically. Not 3, not 1, but 2. If you could permanently change the price of something to $1, what would it be? The maximum amount a company or person can donate to a politician. Funerals. The cost when people are in mourning is terrible. All medications. Especially in the USA. Education, all forms of it from schools and universities. What would be the most shocking secret revealed about a US president? The most shocking secret would be if the declassified report says that Lyndon Johnson had JFK shot to be president. It was surprising to learn Obama is a chain smoker, he hides it well. Obama quit in 2011, so that should be was. Trump's skin is actually orange and he uses makeup to tone it down. Ronald Reagan turns out to have been three raccoons stacked in a trench coat. What is the singular, best piece of advice you've ever received? Be smart enough to know how dumb you are. Don't take criticism from someone if you wouldn't go to them for advice. 
Learn to say no. Don't ever say something you wouldn't want repeated. What is the best, best Gordon Ramsay quote? What in the fuck is going on? Salmon is raw and the chicken is as dry as a fucking camel's asshole in a fucking desert storm. Where's the lamb sauce? You're an idiot sandwich. It looks Gandhi's flip-flop. You donkey. Men, what behavior do you see from other guys that you just don't understand? Weaponized incompetence. Congratulations. You're a failure of a father slash spouse. I mostly see this with boomer dudes, but I do not understand when two motherfuckers have to one-up the other motherfucker with their know-it-all mess. What massively improved your mental health? Gym, sleep, saying no, and treating my job as a paycheck instead of a reflection of my self-worth. Going outside. Learning not to worry about things I cannot control. Drinking water and reducing carbs. I feel like I've been living in hard mode before. What motivates you to keep on going in life? It's okay to lose people, but not yourself. Nobody gives a shit. Success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill We must all suffer from one of two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Jim Rohn What is the worst reason you've broken no contact with an ex? Being Sigh Horny Cause I felt lonely and needed somebody to talk to. They showed up at my doorstep, we hooked up, dated again, and broke up again after three weeks. How long was your shortest relationship and why did you break up? Three hours. Found out she was married. 40 minutes. Was asked out as a joke at 13. Shy people, what's the scariest situation in public for you? Seeing anybody that I know unexpectedly. When the professor asks you to introduce yourself to a room full of strangers. What gives you an instant feeling of nostalgia? The morning doves. Music from a certain time in my life takes me right back. Opening a lunchbox and finding a Capri Sun and a PB&J sandwich. It's like a delicious time machine straight back to elementary school recess. What time of day do you prefer to exercise and why? Early morning provides the most consistency. Later in the day allows emergencies to get in the way and cause cancellations. Night always feels better during the workout, but when I work out in the mornings, the quality of my entire day is usually higher. What are the warning signs your mental health is or is about to start taking a massive dive? From personal experience. Isolating yourself a lot. Not feeling pleasure in things you once liked. Not feeling like yourself or feeling like you don't have a self or identity. Suddenly losing motivation for very important things like work or school. Partaking in what I call mind-numbing activities as a way to escape or avoid thinking. Could be substance abuse or, like in my case, things such as mindless scrolling and playing video games for 7 hours straight. What is your best cubicle hacks for a 9 to 5 type job? Bluetooth earbuds, listen to podcast, zone the fuck out. Privacy screen on your laptop so you can look at whatever without people glancing as they walk by. THC gummies make the time fly by. How do you know you make the right choices? You don't, you just hope. Trust your gut and keep learning from experiences. Making the right choices involves aligning actions with values, considering consequences, seeking advice, trusting intuition, and aiming for growth. How do you live life knowing you could die any minute? All the more reason to value what little time we have. Make the best of it. Spend the minute with my loved ones. Enjoy every remaining minute.